There is some positive news to report tonight about the economy. The housing market in this country has made impressive gains over the past year as interest rates remain relatively low, and that is helping both buyers and sellers, as we hear from NBC's Ron Mott. Hey, Outside Atlanta, Justin and Helen Archer have been underwater on their home for years and are finally able to put it on the market this week. Now, thankfully, prices are to a point where our heads are poking up above water. Twice in the past five years, they've tried to sell or rent it and with growing twins could really use a bigger place. We have two of everything. I mean, we're busting out of seams in here. Now, with an improved housing market well established across the country, more than four million homeowners like the Archers are no longer upside down, owing more than their home is worth. Fewer underwater homeowners will uh, open up more housing transactions, both purchases as well as sales, people moving up, people moving down. That greater mobility is ultimately a plus for the economy. New numbers show American home prices surged in October over the previous year by the largest margin since February 2006, up nearly 14 percent overall in the past year. We're starting to get back to normal. Home prices are rising not to high levels, but they're rising back in the normal range. And the West, hit hardest by the housing bust, is leading the way. Las Vegas up 27.1 percent. San Francisco nearly 25 percent. Atlanta, where the archers live, 19 percent, a relatively modest 8.6 percent in Boston. There, realtor Kathleen Sullivan is selling this house on the North Shore, cautioning buyers to take a cue from her sellers and get moving, with lending changes on the way and higher interest rates expected in the new year. I think the price increase is going to be less than, than it was this year, but it will still go up. So people should get off the fence. Come on in. Back in Georgia, the archers are hoping to find something before prices get any bigger or the process any tougher. Oh, wow. This is huge. I love this. Ron Mott, NBC News, Boston.